hi guys welcome you again to another interesting news of course we've been hearing about uh the recent situation that has been happening you know between wiki and fubara of which president bola ametinobu has intervened in now it has just been said by wiki that i didn't ask tinobu to intervene in reverse crisis he called for second meeting when Governor Fubara failed to keep his initial promise. Of course, if you have listened to the earlier news, you would have, you know, know these uh, initial promise. The initial promise was that Fubara will bring down all charges and every case in court will be withdrawn. But after the promise to President Sinobu, he refuses to do everything he promised. Now, Wiki said Sinobu called for second meeting after Fubara failed to keep his initial promise. Welcome you again to another interesting news. Welcome you again to Everyday Affairs. Do like, share, comment as you enjoy the full details of the news. According to the news, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Oyinsom Wiki on Sunday said he did not invite President Bola Tinubu to intervene in the political crisis in River State following the rift between him and Governor Fubara. Wiki disclosed this during a Thanksgiving ceremony organized for the immediate past works commissioner in the state, George Kelly Alabo at the King's Assembly in Port Harcourt, the state capital. Addressing the congregation during the event broadcast by TVC, Wiki said if you go and pull the ladder you use to climb up, when you are coming down, if the ladder is pulled down, I don't know how. You will come down. I pray for the church to continue praying for us and let us be firm. We must thank Mr. President for interfering and intervening, but I was not the one who invited Mr. President. You people are the ones. President, intervene. The President has now intervened. He has no constitutional power. You are the one who said that the president should intervene and the president has intervened to bring peace. You now turned around to say he does not have the constitutional power. No matter what, no matter what circumstances, if the president invites me to a meeting and tells me to do something within 24 hours, I will carry it out because not only as president, I have subjected myself to the peace, progress, and if you ask. Speaking further, the former reversed governor said, some of us do not even know that Mr. President had invited us privately and said, do this, do this, do this. And you agreed before Mr. President and you didn't do it. And President now said, okay, the larger state come. We must tell our people the simple truth. I have done my own part and I am happy and I am doing well in Abuja too. Sorry reporters reported on Monday, December 18, 2023 that President Tinobu had intervened in the political crisis, rocking the state as the factional speaker of the state House of Assembly, Edison Ehi was mandated to recognize 27 members of the assembly who had defected to the All Progressive Congress APC. Sarah reporters obtained the eight point resolution from the closed door meeting that President Nobu had with Governor Fubara, former governor of the state, Peter Odili, and Wiki, along with other stakeholders at the presidential villa Abuja. Sahara reporters reported that the political crisis 
ravaging the state followed a prolonged disagreement between Governor Fubara and Wiki, his predecessors, and political godfather. The political crisis, you know, deepened between October 29th and 30th this year when the hallowed chamber of the House of Assembly was burned following alleged moves to impeach Fubara. This led to the emergence of two factional speakers, Martins, Ama Ihule, who is loyal to Wiki and Edison, a stronger supporter of Fubara. However, as the crisis worsened, 27 members of the House said to be loyal to Wiki announced their defection to the APC, but one of them later made a U-turn. To stop the lingering crisis, the president and some stakeholders from the state recently held a closed-door meeting. Meanwhile, at the end of the closed-door meeting, an eight-point resolution was reached and all the stakeholders appended their signatures to bring the crisis to an end. However, several people including the elder statesman, Chief Edwin Clark and Mr. Femi Falano, who is a senior advocate of Nigeria, have rejected President Tunubu's intervention, describing it as unconstitutional. What is your take to this? Tunubu intervention has been regarded as unconstitutional, and now Wiki has come out to say, I did not invite uh, President Tunubu to come and intervene. You people did. You people said Tunubu should intervene. Now he intervened, and you now are saying it's unconstitutional. What is your take to this? We would like you to let us know your own point of view to what has been said. We would like you to let us know your own take to this. But before we go, let's see what people's reactions is on this. Samuel reacted to this and said, To say the fact, Tinubu has no any justification to intervene into reverse politics because the state belongs to PDP and the directive he gave was one-sided and he ought to Amonish those lawmakers who decamped to his party to go back to their former party and in its affront to constitution that the governor should represent 2024 budget, the 2024 budget to legal speaker and his members. The resolutions is nothing to write home about at all. What is your take to this? This is a, a reaction from Samuel Bamila, who have said that those people who defected to Tinubu's uh, party should return back. That is what the president is supposed to do. Whatever he might have done before, I think the directive was a one-sided one. And I think those people who they come to his party, he needs to tell them to go back to their initial party, tell the governor to represent the 2024 budget to the legal speaker and its members. What is your take to this? Are you in support of Tinubu intervening in this case? Who would like you also to let us know your own take on this? Don't forget, I didn't ask Tinubu to intervene in the river crisis. He called for second meeting when Governor Fubara failed to keep initial promise. This is what Wiki have said. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I will see you.